what is happening in this generation is the trend is that when you are finishing school you wear white shirt you write all kinds of things on it even people that are not sure have graduated yes they just write they will tell you they have graduated and so so this person took pictures of some of these students who wrote at their back the back of their shirts mom i made you proud this is for mom mom i have succeeded so the question is where are the fathers of these people young people listen to me let me tell you something that will change your lives it is a dangerous thing for you to disrespect your father because of your mother if your father and mother are fighting or quarreling when you come there never take sides are you hearing me see you will be doing yourself great disservice to take sides when your parents are fighting some of you were raised by just your mothers and your mothers told you all kinds of things about your father your father was this he was that and so you live an emotional life you keep telling yourself i love my mom more than my dad because my mom was there oh you will be you that's why you go through life struggling you can you won't understand pastors have prayed for you but you are still struggling you are wondering what is happening to you exactly you have disrespected your father see father the word that defines father is pater which means source your father is actually your source One of the persons to never disobey in life is your father. You don't try it. After God, the next God to your life on earth is your father. Your biological father, I mean. Because he is your source. You disobey your father because of your mother. You'll be in trouble. Even the Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Say, honor thy father. It is father first and what and mother and some mothers are doing great disservice to their children they train their children to love them more and then the children tilt towards their mothers more than their fathers you don't know what you are joking with you are joking with your earthly god when you disregard your biological father somebody hearing me it is not everything my father does that i like not everything he does that I like but <laughs> when my father says and, and then most especially a father that knows the word of God oh Jesus even if your father is a native doctor you are commanded to respect him not to even talk of the one that knows the word of God you go against him you are going against your life because he is the source of your life this thing about mommy I made you proud mommy I love you mommy my mother is more than 10 fathers you are a fool your mother can never be more than 10 fathers even if she's the only one that raised you it's because you don't know who a father is you define father by somebody just taking care of you oh that personality called father has something in the spirit there is there's a spiritual allotment to the name father to what you call fatherhood such that even if the person does not do anything for you physically they have something as they have a stake in your life in the spirit but sometimes you go before your father just kneel and say father please i came so that you pray for me just try doing that to your fathers and you will see and listen sometimes when they pray those prayers for you what happens is that the things they couldn't achieve they provoke heaven to bring them to pass over your lives Almost every man of God has imparted you, but your father has never prayed for you, and you are wondering why you are still struggling. Your father, your biological father, is your source. Make your father pray for you, make him bless you, be deliberate about it. The words they speak carelessly carry life and power. So sometimes you just go out and you are coming back, you just buy something for your father, even if he's a wicked man. That is allergic to, and for, if, for your information nobody is allergic to honor no matter how hard and cruel they are honor opens the souls of men to favor you you bring something for him say that i know you like this thing I, I got it for you as the man collects he says god bless you that god bless you you put it together is deeper than one year of prayer and fasting that simple god bless you 
because God has given him a certain form of authority over your life. And then you honor your mother. You respect her. Never in your life take sides with any of your parents when the both of them are fighting. You know why? You were not even there when they began. Even if you claim you have more wisdom than them, don't come and take sides. Sometimes when they call you to come and hear the gist, tell them, no, 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 no. They started gisting before you were born. They should continue with their gist. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Uh, when your father and mother call you to come and settle their quarrel, tell them, you people started settling quarrels before I came into the picture. Find a way to settle it. Don't go and carry costs on your head because as you sit there, your emotions will want to tempt you to, to support one over the other. And then you are incurring a curse over your life. Some stupid children will sit down and say, eh, Daddy, this thing you are doing is not good. Though. That's what you keep doing to Mama. We don't like it. Though. We don't like We have been seeing you. Know. Hey. And that man is boiling. He says, Okay. So you have become an army that is fashioned against me. You have forgotten that I'm your father. You, are, you injured the man. His ego is bruised. You sat before his wife and you were trying to correct him and bruise his ego. And the man is angry. And that anger is releasing a venom. That venom will place a curse on you. If you like, let your mama pray for you. Ah, because your papa is angry with you, things will be hard. Let the both of them, when, when they have a fight, eh, if, if you have the power to separate them, separate them. If you don't have the power, sit down and allow them to finish their quarrel in peace. They will quarrel, but they will finish. Let me ask you a question. You are 30 years old. Your parents are still married and still together. And yet they are calling you to come and say to a quarrel. If, if you are not stupid, wisdom to tell you that whatever kept them together for 30 years is more than you. <laughs> whatever kept them together for 30 years is more than you. So you should continue keeping them. Don't come into their quarrel. Don't let your parents kill you. Your parents can kill you. Satan can use your parents to kill you. You just enter the fight like this. Say, hey, Papa, you did this thing to Mama. We don't like it. We don't like it. And your father say, eh, you don't like it. Men will not like you in this life. And you go out. You, you hustle. You, you suffer. You, what is it? What? You enter a place and people dislike you. You forgot that you told Papa that what he did, you didn't like it before his wife. His wife for 40 years. Honor. Honor. One of my sisters, you know, picked a, an issue with my father. <laughs> I just laughed. One day I called, I called her. She came to my house. She's married. She came to my house. I said, see, if you have small sense, if you have small sense left in your, your little skull, don't ever insult this man. And never you give your husband room to disrespect him. Because what you are doing is a seed you are sowing. And a time will come you will harvest. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Shall your children give unto your bosom. I don't know why I'm dwelling so much on the issue of honor. The men that have honored people have contacted great power. Let me tell you that your father was not able to fulfill his destiny does not mean he, he doesn't have a great destiny. That's why there is continuity now. He was not able to fulfill. You now come and honor him, collect it and run with it. As you honor him and the man may be on his dying bed or even before he dies. You know, sometimes when our parents talk to us and they drop tears, it's tears of regret of the things they were not able to fulfill. Tears of unfulfillment. So they can turn to, to God and say, let my children fulfill more than the things I was meant to fulfill that I didn't fulfill. Please, I beg you in the name of God, this week, if you have a parent that is alive, a father or a mother, or if you are an orphan, but there are people that raised you and truly loved you, please reach out to them. Are you hearing me? After this service, look for something and give to either your father or your mother or the person that raised you. There is something called the blessing of the womb. The blessing of the womb. There's a blessing of the heaven. There's a blessing of the earth. And then there's a blessing of the womb. 
Say, my parents are not educated. Who told you that education is a spiritual thing? They have something in the realm of the spirit committed to them by reason of them being your parents. Is somebody hearing me? Respect your parents. 